Yeah, but actually, first, speaking of the Beatles and the White Album, did you know, everybody remember the song Dear Prudence? Um, it was inspired by Mia Farrow's sister who was in India with the Beatles at the time, and apparently she wouldn't come out of her tent. So John Lennon wrote the song Dear Prudence. Her name is Prudence uh, Farrow, I'm going to assume. Anyways, this was surprising. I read about it. She had an affair. We haven't heard much from Prudence lately. Maybe this is why. She had an affair with Robert Durst, the guy who's suspected of killing all those people and uh, was just on that HBO show The Jinx and uh, apparently admitted to, admitted to murdering them. It says that, um, according to the New York Post, Pharaoh and her husband... Albert Bruns, to whom she remains married, were living in a New York City property owned by Robert Durst. They married in the late 1960s, but from 1980 to 1982, Pharaoh kept a widely talked about affair with Durst. Widely talked about? Wow, wow that's crazy. Uh, it says that at one point, a 34-year-old Pharaoh called his wife, called... Man, I can't, you know, the Daily Mail has so many typos in their articles. It really trips a guy like me up. Don't they know I'm trying to read this on the air? Uh, at one point, the Post notes a 34-year-old pharaoh called his wife Kathy in an attempt to convince her to file for divorce. It was a dark chapter more than a decade before, more than a decade after she attended the same meditation retreat as John, George, Paul, and Ringo, where she became an inspiration. And, uh, wow, is she lucky, huh? She got out of that. Uh, apparently she refuses to touch on the allegations surrounding Durst. And, um, yeah, wow. Isn't that interesting? You know, and apparently this guy suspected in all kinds of murders dating back 40 years. So she could have been part of the jinx. She could have been a part of two major pop culture moments, getting the song Dear Prudence written about her and uh, ending up on the jinx.